A team in Pittsburgh is getting international attention for helping to save this young girl from a superbug. Her family was told there was nothing left to try to save her from a bacterial infection. But a Pitt professor's rare collection did just that. There's a rainbow around every corner. <laughs> if anyone knows that mantra to be true, it is Isabel Holdaway. At 17 years old, she has already fought death and won, thanks to some help from Pittsburgh. CNN caught up with Isabel at her home in the UK, but Channel 11 spoke to her mother over Skype. She's never had a life like she's having now, ever. Isabel has cystic fibrosis and got a lung transplant that was supposed to give her a second chance. Instead, she got a bacterial infection that antibiotics could not fight off. One consultant said when she went back into ICU with liver failure, she won't be going home. Her mother told us, faced with the possibility of having to plan her own daughter's funeral, she started looking for solutions on her own. And that's where Pittsburgh came in. Isabel's doctors contacted contacted Graham Hatful, a professor of biological sciences at Pitt. It was really much of a general inquiry as to whether we would be interested. He and his team have a collection of 15,000 bacteriophages collected from all over the world. So they don't infect humans, they don't infect plants or other animals, they infect Bacteria. These bacteriophages not only infect bacteria, they destroy it. The team got a sample of the bacteria killing Isabel and got to work looking for a match. I mean, I wasn't aware, you know, in the early days, how much intensive work it took for all these guys over in Pittsburgh to find this miracle for Isabel. It took months, but the team identified three phages that worked against Isabel's particular bacteria. This is the perfect cocktail for Isabel's case, and we made it that way. It worked for Isabel right away. Unfortunately, the cocktail that worked for Isabel doesn't work on a wider scale for other patients like her. But Hatful sees it as a first step to find solutions to superbugs. But I think there's also a real sense that that we need more um, we need more weapons in our arsenal for dealing with these infections. Ready? Isabel is now home playing with her dogs. She has a weekend job and studies for school. She's even learning to drive. And her family is eager for a clearance to fly so she can come and visit Pittsburgh. We want to take her over there. We want her to meet everybody that's played a vital part in, in her um, care. She makes it here. Isabel's mom says she hopes to see the U.S. and the U.K. relax regulations for experimental treatments so that scientists and doctors can collaborate more easily. Uh,